With both Columbia University and UCLA descending to violence and chaos, other university leaders are standing strong against the protest groups. The University of Florida being just one of those universities that issued a statement detailing their no-nonsense policy for trespassers, saying, quote, the University of Florida is not a daycare and we do not treat protesters like children. They knew the rules, they broke the rules, and they'll face the consequences. Joining me now for more is Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamet. Congresswoman, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So what is your reaction to what has happened in New York and California lately, the utter lawlessness that we saw overnight at UCLA? And how can these universities take a page out of Florida's book? <laughs> well, first, I'm always proud to represent the University of Florida, Gainesville community, and all of North Central Florida. So, of course, go Gators. They once again are leading the nation and showing how you can protect free speech while also taking a firm stance of non-tolerance against violence and any effort to block buildings, roads, camps, all that stuff that does not qualify as free speech. And so shout out to Ben Sass and the Gainesville community on that front. But what we have seen around the country is absolutely unacceptable. So many of these institutions receive federal funding and we have witnessed as students and protesters, because not every protester there, of course, is a student, we have witnessed as the American flag has come down and replaced with the Palestinian flag. It makes me sick. I know it makes people around this country sick. We have to take an unequivocal stance that we will not tolerate anti-Semitism, not on college campuses, not in our communities. We do not support these pro-Hamas, pro-terrorist uh, sympathizers. And we need to start exercising the power of the purse to ensure that these universities that allow these shenanigans to continue will bear the brunt of the consequences. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about cutting federal funding for these universities, citing Title VI of the Civil Rights Act. Would you support that? You know, I definitely will, ne will take a look at supporting any effort to hold these universities that allow this to continue. We cannot allow for these universities to be rewarded with millions and in some cases billions of dollars in R&D money from the federal government when they have no interest in actually flying the American flag or protecting their students on speech. These have become bastions for this type of activity of anti-Semitism, of harassment, hazing. We've seen video from around the country, from UCLA to Columbia and everywhere in between, where students on campus are being denied the opportunity to go to class unless they actually engage with these protesters. That's just simply un-American. That's not free speech. That is hazing, that is harassment, it will not be tolerated. And again, if they just took a page out of UF's playbook, which ironically is the home of Tom Petty, and said, listen, we're not gonna back down from our stance on this. We will stand firm for the First Amendment, but we are also going to protect our students and faculty. That's what needs to happen. Well said, Congresswoman. Thanks so much for joining me this morning, appreciate it. Appreciate it, have a good one. You too. Coming up 